Hello family and thank you for coming back to our channel Dale Chanel's 48th World where we talk about Kenya Moore, Tanya Sams, The Cookie Lady, Portia Williams. Yes on this particular video we're going to be getting it from Urban Bell Magazine and we're going to have none other than Amanda Anderson Niles uh, give us a salacious story. To talk about it's titled Real Housewives of Atlanta Star Portia Williams calls out Kenya Moore for calling Kenya Sands the unt cunt word. Okay, that's where we're getting it from, guys. And if we must, let's get right on into it. Okay, from what the article reads, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta fans have a lot to say about the fallout between Tanya Sam and Kenya Moore. The cookie lady situation in itself has some feelings as if Kenya may have taken things way too far. But Kenya believes her actions were warranted. And Tanya showing off the wig she left behind in Canada was a major attempt to hurt her hair care business. Sidebar, you know how we get down. Now, Kenya, you hurt your own self. If you would have been forward and up front, letting people know, hey, it's okay to wear your wigs, extensions, um, lace fronts, sew-ins, whatever. It's cool. And it's also cool to wear your natural hair and let it grow. Okay? The wigs and weave and all that are just protective styles to give your real natural hair a break. But now you tried to say everything is on your head is real. I'm like, yeah, real for somebody else's head head that you bought paid for and you put it on yours okay we know your hair is not that thick and full and luxurious uh luscious no for that type of volume you have to have more hair added on baby girl you know that come on now you're gonna put tons of hairspray like back in the 70s they did a whole can of aerosol spray to keep that stuff up and intact all right so, come on, Kenya. You weren't fooling nobody with you, but yourself. And then you sat out there and embarrassed Tanya in front of everybody. And then you didn't want her to get you back. Time out. That could have hurt your brand. No, it couldn't have. You knew what you were doing. Hurting your brand is how you acted on this show. And then calling people out their names. And then using abrasive type of words girl that's the only thing that will be hurting your brand okay all right going back to the article it says um tanya denied this and she said pulling out the wig was a quirky way of her clapping back at kenya for putting the accusations about paul judge on the table to the other women now yes you don't do that kenya you wouldn't have liked it if tanya found something out about mark and she played that little coy game like you were playing in canada would anyone like to know if their spouse is cheating would you like to know kenya really Okay, so one fair turn plays another fair turn, okay? We can't tell you how to get down. You can't put the box, cat, the cat back in the box once you don't let it out, okay? But going back to the article, um, it says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore may have a lot of loyal fans, but she has been, a, been getting a lot of criticism on social media for her heated conversation with Tanya Sam before Kenya brought back out the cookie lady. Yes, that was just like a grenade, as Cynthia most eloquently stated on this past episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She said, honey, after you got finished spraying all your bullets and, and tanned her up and leaving uh, wounds of uh, holes in her, you want to really make her be gone and disintegrate, you threw a grenade at her. Like, poof, that was it of Tanya. And you didn't think she wanted to come back after all of that that you did to her, can you? Please, girl, please. That's the least she could have done was just tell everybody you wear wigs, bringing out their persona that you only sport your real hair. So, yeah, I probably would have took that dig and more, okay? Did that dig and more, okay? But that was just my sidebar, not in this article. And it goes on to say, um... 
Kenya accused Tanya of trying to hurt her hair care business, and she also called Tanya the C-word. Many feel as if Kenya crossed the line by calling Tanya the C-word. Yes, everybody and their mama know that. Hell, Kenya more mama probably felt like Kenya crossed the line, okay? Bad, 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 Kenya. But anyway, going back to the article, it says Portia Williams agrees and she confronts Kenya about this on the upcoming episode. This seemingly comes as a surprise to Kenya since she and Portia agreed to work on forming a friendship after years of feuding on the show. Well, that is true. You and uh, Portia, Kenya and Portia had a very good start for season 12 where they were bonding with their babies and, you know, having parties and this, that, and the third. But Cynthia noticed when somebody is acting foul. She ain't like Candy. And Cynthia just let Kenya run amok over there. And then still go in her corner and pat her on the back like she did some shit. Yeah. No. Portia is real. She may not got it all together with her man. And trying to figure out their relationship. But she knows about uh, friendship. And she knows about treating people right. Okay, she does know that when it comes to her female friends. But anyway, going back to the article, it says um, there are other notable moments in the preview. Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill appear to have more attention and Kenya isn't thrilled when Mark Daly once again appears to not really have her side when it comes to her feud with NeNe Leakes. Okay, and I'm like, girl, get on out of here with that bull. Mom can't stand you and your things of what you got going on on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and your relentless, relentless pursuit of Nene Leaks. Like you really want to take her title. Okay, you really want to be the HBIC. Even though it was a self appointed title, we all know that. We all know Nene is definitely not acting like a HBIC these days. It just is what it is, okay? We can like it, love it, good. Or can we hate it? Or you just be totally indifferent to it at, at all times. We can be for, we can be against them. It's just how we're feeling on that particular day, that particular episode, and what they give us as far as their demeanor. Okay? But I am done with this interview. This recap, this review of this salacious article that Amanda Niles Anderson brought out uh, for our viewing on her platform, Urban Bell Mag Magazine, okay, dot com. Get into it, okay? But that's all I have for this video, uh, young ladies and gentlemen. Please partake in that uh, chat section. Get down there. Let me know what y'all thought about the subject matter. And does really Kenya have a leg to stand on? Since she's going around here terrorizing all these women out here. Especially Nene Lee's and Tanya Sams. But she don't want more to be chastising her on her behavior. How she acts towards these ladies. Especially Nene Leaks. Does she have a point? Does she have a, a stance in all of this that Mark is just not recognizing? Or are we just wanting him to take up for his wife even though when he knows his wife is wrong? <laughs> she is dead wrong, okay? But that's all I have for this video. Get down in them comment uh, sections. Interact with one another about subject matter, not each other. And I will see y'all next video. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share and like my videos. Good night, guys.